biggest slap, as Princess Anne, empowered by Charles's ban, the Sussexes from coming back to the UK and stripped their citizenship. Meghan Markle has revealed that he had studied to gain citizenship in the UK in a new episode of a Spotify podcast series, Archetypes. As the Duchess of Sussex had described the UK citizenship test as so hard, and had suggested that her husband, Prince Harry, was unable to answer some of the questions himself. And in response to Meghan's revelations, enraged talk TV host Mike Graham had argued that the Duke of Sussex should be stripped of his own citizenship if he was unable to pass the test. During his regular talk show slot, Mr. Graham had addressed the latest episode of Meghan's podcast, which was featured the First Lady of Canada, Sophie Trudeau, among others. As the radio host had said, apparently while Meghan was here, before they had left to go back into the obscurity in America, she took the UK citizenship test, or had wanted to. As he had played a clip from the Archetypes podcast, before he had added, I'll tell you what, if Harry can't even answer any of these questions, he should immediately be stripped of his citizenship. He continued on to read a list of mock questions from the citizenship test, responding to each with an impression of the baffled Prince Harry. Speaking on the Duke of Sussex, Mr. Graham had said, he is not too bright, is he? As the Duchess of Sussex had detailed her own experience during a conversation with the American actress Pamela Adlin. Megan had explained that the citizenship exam is so hard, and I remember studying for it and going, oh my goodness. I would ask my husband, do you know this? Do you know this? And he would go, oh, I had no idea. Miss Adlin responded, I think they made it harder for you. Yeah, they were like, we're going to really throw up walls on this one. In other news, King Charles' decision to allow the Princess Royal and the Earl of Wessex to deputise for him when he cannot fulfil the official duties is a snub to Prince Harry that will make him furious, a royal expert had told the Mail Online tonight. As the sly to Harry and Andrew had called necessary by the royal biographer Angela Levin will mean that Prince Harry and Prince Andrew will be even less likely to be called to step in if the king is absent. As the monarch's intention was announced in a signed message that read to the House of Lords by the Lord Chamberlain, Lord Parker of Mizamere, who is the most senior official in the royal household. Charles had said that the aim of the increase was to ensure the continued efficiency of the public businesses when I am unavailable. Councillors of state who can deputise for the monarch if he is overseas or on an official trip or ill include the Duke of Sussex, who lives in California after stepping down as a working royal and the disgraced Duke of York. But the addition of the king's younger siblings in the list means it is now very unlikely that either would be called up if the monarch, the queen consort, or the Prince of Wales were unavailable. Of course, it is a slight to Harry and Andrew, but there is a good reason, and it is necessary, as Angela Levin had told the Mail Online. She had said the move was an astute way to the Harry and Andrew, taken off of the list in a very diplomatic way, and that it is more practical for Charles to ask for the assistance of Princess Anne and Prince Edward as Harry and Meghan would be absolutely furious when the decision Mr. Levin had said. But he lives in California. He had stopped being a working royal, so why should he be a councillor of state? It isn't about Harry, but instead what the king needs, Mr. Levin had said. As she also said that if the Duke of York were to perform the king's official duties, the public would be absolutely furious, and commended the monarch's move. Is very sensible. As reading between the lines, it allows him to ensure that the right people are doing the right jobs. As Ms. Levin had said, she had added that it would ensure the smooth running of the monarchy. As this comes 
after rising calls for Princess Anne and the receiving of an exception from Parliament to act on behalf of the King despite rules which prevented her from doing so.